Hi, my name's Mr. Electron, and I'm here at the ground state of this atom. This is my home, close to the nucleus, and this is where I stay. But wait a minute, I sense a source of energy coming my way, and when it does, I'm gonna absorb it and move up higher in energy level to account for the extra energy that I was just given. Where is that energy? Here it comes, oh! I'm now in the excited state. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose a photon. With the same amount of energy that I absorb, I'm gonna fall back to the ground state and give off a photon of light. Woo! And now I'm back in the ground state. But wait, I sense even greater energy coming. Oh no, I better be Oh, wow, that was a lot of energy to absorb. Boy, when I fall back down this time, this photon's gonna have a lot of energy behind it. Somebody better be ready. <laughs> and now, I'm back in the ground state again. And that is how light is formed. Falling just a little distance might give off low energy light, like red light. And falling from a farther distance will give off a higher energy light, like violet light. Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Red has the lowest amount of energy, violet has the most. So the farther I fall, the farther up Roy G. Biv, the light I give off is gonna be. But if I fall from a really high distance, Let's try this one more time. Wow, I'm as high up in the atom as you can be without forming an ion. Now when I fall back, this photon's gonna have so much energy, you ain't even gonna be able to see it. Why? Because it's gonna be ultraviolet. Or maybe it's gonna be X-ray. And that's how high energy light is formed. You can't see that. Thank you. Incoming! Ah! In that last demonstration, we represented the photon, this particle of light energy, as a particle. But the truth of the matter is, it's actually a packet of energy that travels in a wave. It's called a photon, and it's the smallest particle in existence, which is why it travels faster than any other particle, the speed of light. Let's take a look at the wave properties of light right now. This spring represents the path that a light particle or a photon can take on its journey. As you can see, this is one wavelength. It's a very long wavelength. This might be a wavelength of infrared light. Infrared light is light that you can't see, but is generated by anything that gives off heat. This would be an example of an electron falling maybe from the second energy level to the first, a very short drop. Then, if we give it more energy, notice how the wavelengths are now shorter. We now have two wavelengths in the same space that we had one before. This might be an example of red light. Red light might be going from the third energy level to the first energy level. A further drop will give us a shorter wavelength with more energy. Now, if we juice it up a little bit more, now we have a whole lot more wavelengths. This might be violet light, an energy level drop from perhaps the sixth energy level or the fifth energy level back to the first. The more energy you give it, the shorter the wavelengths are. Notice though that the light is traveling the same distance in the same amount of time, just with a lot shorter wavelength. And I think I've just used up about all of my energy with that demonstration. Thank you.